creepy out everyone. Uh, in a, an attempt to support those visual learners out there, I've put together a small presentation to support my speech, so please enjoy. <laughs> I want to start out by saying thank you to my classmates for voting for me to speak this evening. This is such an honor that I hope I can do it justice. You all are such strong teacher candidates, and I appreciate all of you for the support you have given me along the way. Without the opportunity to collaborate with you, I would not have learned as much as I have. I would like to welcome the loved ones the friends, mentors, supporters, faculty, and staff of these teaching ca candidates being honored here tonight. Without your support, we would not be here today. Thank you all. These wonderful and hardworking teacher candidates are leaving the credential program with many memories, teaching strategies, and the tools needed to be a successful teacher in the 21st century. One example of these tools that we are walking away with is being able to read children's minds. <laughs> Looking at this first image, teacher candidates know this student is doing mental math. <laughs> Whereas in this next picture, we are now able to see that this student is thinking about what is for lunch that day. <laughs> In all seriousness, we are now walking away from this program prepared to plan curriculum, acknowledge and reflect student diversity in the teaching materials and styles we put forth, and are able to differentiate to meet all students' needs, not just the ones who get it. Over the past year, we have been learning how to become well-rounded educators, teaching multiple subject content areas, within the curricular framework of what are now known as the Common Core Standards. The foundation of the Common Core is framed around four C's. For those of you who don't know, that includes critical thinking, creativity, communication, and collaboration. Before I knew these life skills had a title, I knew that in order to become a successful teacher, one would need to feel comfortable using these skills on a daily basis. I believe that it is the four C's that have been a fundamental aspect of my learning and teaching. I encourage you all to employ them regularly to help your students become experts at critical thinking, using their sense of creativity, communication, and collaboration. The 21st century learner is expected to reflect a wide range of skills and qualities, which are grounded in four C's. Students are expected to use their communication skills to provide positive discourses among one another to problem solve common conflicts at hand. Students problem solve successfully when they call upon prior knowledge and employ their information literacy skills to take into account information they can recall to help them solve the problem at hand. They are also expected to be creative in their thinking, their writing, their artistic expression, problem solving, and communicating. In addition, students are commonly expected to work together to achieve a common goal. In order for these students to be successful in the 21st century classroom, teachers need to provide students with many opportunities to practice these skills. I believe that it is important to model these skills with the people in the classroom and school communities in the presence of your children. Modeling the behaviors I expected from my students during my student teaching helped them understand how to work with one another, talk through a disagreement, and engage each other in positive, collaborative, and in a constructive manner. Plan curricular experiences that allow students to be the experts, that require them to call upon their informational literacy banks formed by their schematic framework to meet personal, lesson, and unit goals. Becoming a teacher in the 21st century is an exciting challenge that you have spent the last year preparing for. We have been taught many pedagogical frameworks about curriculum, assessment, literacy, mathematical reasoning, and learning theories. In addition to these educational literacies, 21st century educators need to also be fluent in other areas, such as solution and resolution strategies, 
the collection of information, collaboration, creativity, and media literacy. As I learned during my pact, incorporate, incorporating media into instruction demands a lot of critical thinking on behalf of the one selecting the media. I spent hours searching the internet for resources that reflect, reflected my students' diversity in their diverse family structures. I was not able to find video clips that were reflective of the whole class, which was disheartening to me because my goal is to have 100% of my class reflected in the teaching materials I bring to the room. This conflict I had was that the mnemonic device in this clip was one that was not relatable for all of my students. In the video clip was about the order of operations used to solve division problems. It's also known as DMSB, which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. But the mnemonic device presented was daddy, mommy, sister, and brother. The mnemonic device reflected a traditional family structure, a nuclear family structure, which was not reflective of some of my students' lives and families. Knowing that some of my students had two dads, a single dad, no parents at all during periods of their life, I could anticipate this being a challenge for them to relate to. After watching the clip, I provided them an opportunity to, to critique the video and express their feelings, thoughts, and responses. This opened up the lines of communication in the classroom, and the students who were not reflected in the video clips could at least be reflected in the conversation that we had together. The teaching materials we bring into the classroom send messages to students about certain values, which is why it is so important to critically think, analyze, anticipate any potential conflict when incorporating outside resources. Using critical thinking skills, being aware of the messages I send to the students that I'm teaching, and understanding the students' diverse background allows for me to continue to develop my own media literacy while creating a reflective and socially aware curricular experience for my students. Developing media literacy is important for both the students and teachers, and it is important in doing so. We are also teaching students how to use the four seats to make sense of the world around them. Using the four-pane window format to critique the video clip was a suggestion provided to me by my supervisor during a discussion about my concerns. If I was not open and honest with her, I would not have had the opportunity to collaborate with her to resolve the conflict. So much of teaching is about collaboration, allowing oneself to let go of this notion of owning an idea promotes collaboration among everyone in a school community. In collaborating with my graduating classmates, I have compiled a short list of the top things we are walking away from the program with. There were many suggestions from you all but these are just the top five. I'm almost done, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Show students that you care about their learning and that you want them to succeed. Number two, it takes thoughtful reflection and research to meet each student's individual learning needs. And it takes practice. Don't give up. Number three, Encouraged to ask and answer another's question. Don't be the all-knowing individual in the room. Number four, expose your students to a variety of styles and always in ways of engagement. And number five, carry a bottle of Aleve on you for all the bruises you will get running into kindergarten-sized furniture. <laughs> As a new teacher, if you keep these lifelong lessons in mind and remember the four C's, I know you will be a successful educator who is prepared to take on whatever challenges may come your way. Stay true to yourself, incorporate your interests into the classroom, and work to honor each of your students by creating a classroom that is reflective of their cultural, linguistic, and learning needs. Congratulations to you all. It has been an honor to work with you and learn by your side.